Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and wow, I mean wow, I just saw the best action film in recent years that's actually a 30 minute short. That's right, which is over the top, non-stop action filled with 80's nostalgia. Yep, which is part martial arts mixed with a police force in between. Yep, I'm talking about Kung Fury. It's a movie about a Miami police detective with the skill of martial arts who wants to go in back in time in order to stop Adolf Hitler. Boy, they sure come up with a lot of geniuses like this that has lots of gore, lots of awesome martial arts uh, moves that they put in, and, <laughs> and of course, lots of 80s nostalgia. Even though it's actually done with all the technology they use, you know, all done in green screen, but they added a lot of... 80s uh, style that they put in, such as that's uh, actually recorded onto a VHS tape. You can see a lot of flickering and tracking on on all the shots that they show. Yeah, even the music starts to die down too a bit. A lot of 80s synthesizers. Yeah, a lot of that in the mix. And plus, they even put in all this other um, technology that they that they really put on and of course it's actually set in 1985 that was 30 years ago awesome I'm glad they came up with this idea it was actually crowdfunded by Kickstarter on, on a company called Dark Unicorns yeah so they came up with something this clever that you never thought you would see Yeah. <laughs> But here it goes. The movie stars David Sandberg, who's also the producer, the writer, and the director. Joma Tecone, Stephen Chu, Lapo Nielsen, Andrea Colleen, Eric Honvis, Pierre Henrik Avardius, Eleni Young, Henley Olsen, Ias Carlson, Magnus Biednor, Warren Gustafson, with David Hasselhoff, and Frank Sanderson. Written and directed by David Sandberg. The movie began set in Miami in 1985. A Miami Police Department detective named Kun Fury, who's played by David Sandberg, who actually winds up defeating a rogue arcade machine robot that started attacking the entire city, only to discover that before all this had happened, Kun Fury had once had a partner named Dragon, who actually found a red ninja in the back alley and was sliced in half. While Kun Fury winds up being struck by lightning and was bitten by a cobra, only giving him an extraordinary Kung Fu powers, which has the strength to to actually use all that and and beat the shit out of everybody and, and defeat his foul. But after all of this had happened, Kung Fury winds up quitting the force because the fact that he didn't want to lose another partner again, yeah, because he was assigned to be teaming up with Triceracop. Meanwhile, the German leader himself, Adolf Hitler, who now became simply Konfuhrer, winds up entering their timeline and killing everybody in the forest by using a mobile phone and shooting it with his gun. <laughs> yeah, and it actually fires all the way around. Yeah. 
It's actually the size of a brick, by the way, if you've seen these films. It's like walkie talkies. But to actually get his revenge, Kung Fu wants up you know, meeting a computer whiz named Hacker Man, who actually sends him back in time to kill Hitler in Nazi Germany. But suddenly there was a glitch in the system, and it sends him back into the Viking Age, where he actually meets Barbriana and Katana, those two Viking batteries, along with the Mighty Four, who actually sends him to Nazi Germany to actually finish the job by using his uh, hammer to, to show a portal so that way he can enter it and once he arrives he actually uses a huge tank to kill one of the Nazis and then suddenly he finally meets Adolf Hitler along with his uh, Nazis to actually beat the shit out of him so he actually uses his Kung Fu powers to kick every single one of them all until they're actually gunned down yeah and suddenly he got gunned down too with uh, Hitler's uh, machine gun that's built in on the stand but then suddenly four Hackerman Triceracop the Viking babes and the T-Rex actually hacked into the timeline to kill the rest of the, the entire army. Now all of a sudden, Kung Fury had once up, um, you know, in a dream to actually meet uh, the Cobra that's actually done in an 80s anime style. <laughs> but then when he finally got woken up, since um, Hacker Man had revived him back to health, Kung Fury actually gets a chance to to beat the shit out of Hitler by using his uppercut before Four wants up dropping a hammer along with his robot eagle so the mission has completed but then once Kung Fury wants up returning back to his timeline it actually goes back to the way it was when he was about to stop once again the arcade machine robot but then he knows the swastika symbol only to find out that <laughs> Hitler lives and he's going after him and the movie ends and <laughs> this was really fun you know even though it's only 31 minutes it has everything that they went for and I also love how badass uh, Kung Fury was too because he does sound a little bit like Keanu Reeves mixed in with Clint Eastwood I mean, he does have that voice, and and he does all the action with his kung fu moves that that I never thought I would see. And wow, <laughs> he does know kung fu. Whoa. It does have all the style that that the '80s really had. It had the, an awesome car, uh, a lot of mobile phones and. You know, arcade games and everything that they put in. It just feels like it just came from the 80s that's done right. Uh, I love all the scenes that that actually shows uh, the Hacker Man using the Power Glove. Yes, I actually saw the Power Glove in this and that was cool. They even had the keyboard that almost looked like it came from the Intellivision or something like that or possibly Commodore Omega. Either way, I, I like how he's you know he's writing it like like it's a hoverboard from Back to the Future Part Two. You know, just trying to get into that vortex uh, filled with uh, a huge grid, and he was actually uh, riding around with it just to get it in time. But unfortunately, there was a huge error that went into the system because it was too much hacking. And yeah, the and there was a lot of fun nostalgia that they put in. I even loved the music video that I just saw along with it after I saw this movie with David Hasselhoff doing a song called True Survivor. I thought that was an instant plus. He also made a, uh, a cameo appearance by becoming the the voice communicator. Yeah, like 
like in the TV show Knight Rider, you know, when they had uh, Kit. Yeah, everything was in this movie that's done exactly right. It definitely feels like it's been filmed in the 80s. You know, once again, it looked like they shot this on videotape, as you can see the tracking uh, being played, like, yeah, like they're actually playing this on a VHS tape. And they have all the <laughs> all the interesting scenes that they put in. I know there are a lot of gore, yeah, lot lots of gore in this movie, and that's all shot. A lot of people actually getting killed, sliced, diced, and explode and everything. And uh, I like the idea that they actually mix in with uh, martial arts because you get to see a lot of. <laughs> Kung Fu stuff in the film, and, and I like the fact that it's set in Miami, so this is sort of like a take on Miami Vice. Yeah, even it has all these flashing 80s uh, technology and all this flashing 80s uh, style credits and all of this. Yeah, wow, they, they have everything in there. This is why I love the 80s. A 80s was one of the best times um, as a kid. I mean, I was born that year, 1985, so that was the perfect time. Um, and I just turned 30 now, but it still looks as if it came out that year. I, I just love this short film. Yeah, I wish this it became a two-hour film. It would have been awesome if it was. Then we get to see more adventures. Yeah. I love the babes that they use, the biking babes, you know. Barbarana and Katana, yeah, I thought they were hot. Yeah, they really are. And yeah, Four too. It's epic and mighty. Yeah, you can even see his pecs, even though he's he's quite older now. But yeah, I love that. I love the T-Rex that they chose. Yeah, this Tyrannosaurus Rex. I actually get to bite the the Golden Eagle and all the rest. Yeah. Oh man, I'm trying Seracop even got to shoot all the other Nazis in the nuts. <laughs> well, I mean, definitely check this out if you haven't seen it already. It's already available on YouTube now. Just type in Kung Fury and you'll find it. It's under the channel uh, Dark Unicorns. Yeah. And definitely check out the music video by David Hasselhoff if you haven't. Because it's just pure nostalgia. So anyway, I give Kung Fury an awesome five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye. Yay!